Hello guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we will learn the rating component from Design. We will see how we can render the rating component without any default value. Then we will see how we can render the component with the default value. Also, we will see how we can allow half star rating. Then we will see how we can force the user to give at least one rating so user can clear it. Then we will see how we can change the total number of stars and also we will see how we can add the tooltip while user is hovering on it. Also, we will see how we can customize their colors. Then we will see how we can make the rating as a read only so user cannot change it. Also, we will see how we can use the custom characters like the A character or the custom icons or the double characters. Also, at the end, we will see how we can present the rating component from an array. And also, we will see how we can capture the rating provided by the user. So, let's get started. I have an empty React.js project that is using and design and right now it's showing nothing so let's go ahead and import the rate component from and design and start using it so it will be rate if we save it here you go it has shown the five stars that we can click on to rate right and if we want to show the rating component with some default value we can do that as well using the default value prop so maybe we can say the default value is three so it has shown the rating with default value of 3 and we can change it right and you see now we can only select the star or we can unselect it but we cannot select the half star if we want to allow the half stars as well we can do that as well so for that we can say allow half and here now if I click on that it can uh, it is allowing uh, for me to select the half of the star and we can make it full half and full right and now if I click on uh, the stars and then then click again it will clear all, uh, all of the rating so if we want that it should not clear it then we can do like allow clear as false save it here you go and now if I click on it it will not clear it right so at least I have to provide uh, a single rating and also we can control the number of stars that we need to show so for that maybe we copy this one and we can say the count and if we say the count is three it will only show the three stars we change it to two so two will be filled and third one will be empty right and by default it shows uh, the, the stars in this color the yellowish or the golden color and if we want to change the color we can give it a custom style and inside that we can say color is maybe we can say green here you go we can show that them in the green color and also instead of the stars we can show any other characters as well so suppose we want to show the character maybe a we can do that as well that will be under the character and here we can pass uh, the string a and it will show the a right and if we remove this count by default it will show the 5 right and here you go and instead of the character if you want to show the icons we can do that as well let's copy this one and add maybe the icon we can add the icon from the and sign icons or so maybe we can say heart outlined right save it and refresh as you go hot maybe you can change its color to red as you go right if we want to say uh, half is allowed then we can say allow half and we can select the half of the heart as well and the full heart as well and also uh, we can show the tooltip while user is hovering on it so to say what that means so suppose on these stars when user is hovering we can say this is maybe the bad this is normal and this is maybe the good we can do that as well so that will be under the tooltip and here we need to provide a list of the strings uh, that will be equal to the number of stars so we have three stars so we will be providing the three tooltips so maybe we, first we will saying it is bad then normal and then it's good save it 
and now if I uh, hover on it, it is showing what it is bad, normal and good right. And if we want to uh, this star to be read only, so if we want to only show the rating that user cannot change it, uh, we can do that as well. So, if I copy this one and paste it here and say that it is disabled, so that will make it read only. So, now if I hover in it, it is only showing what that mean and what is the default value, but I cannot, cannot change it right. I can change these values, but I cannot change this one because this is disabled. And for this character prop either we can uh, pass the uh, single string or maybe we can pass uh, the multiple characters as well here. So, let us copy this one and try one with the multiple characters maybe we can say double A save it as you go or we can pass the any icon or any react js component here and also it provides us uh, the index if we uh, use that as a function. So, if I copy this one and here it will provide us the index as well and here we can maybe return index plus 1 so because it will be providing from this 0. So, now if I save it here you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right. So, as it is providing us the index, so we can uh, choose icons from an array as well. So, maybe we can show uh, different smileys. So, maybe we can say const smiley rating is equal to an array and here we can say the font outlined and maybe then we can say outlined ok there will be comma and then maybe we can say smile outlined right ok and for this one maybe we can say the count is only 3 and it will be providing us index and here we can say smiley rating of index right. So, now if I save it here you go it has shown the three smileys and we can choose from here let us do not allow the half and maybe we can remove this color ok. And while I am selecting uh, any of these if we want these value to be captured we can capture that inside the on change function and here it will be providing us the value and we can maybe for now we can just console it. Uh, we can say you rated as you can say the value and stars right and if I inspect this one and go to the console and now if I change it, it says you rate it as 1 star, 2 star, 3 stars, 1 and 0 right. So, this way you, you can capture it the rating provided by the user and so that you can uh, send this to the APIs to the server to save it in the database or somewhere right. So, that is it on exploring the rating component from end design. But still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.